What up, world? It's your boy Sky. <laughs> Broadcasting live. <clears throat> Laying right here, you know, with the dogs. We're just out here cooling. Honestly, this is truly relaxing, to be real with y'all. Like, throughout my life, I've always been an energetic, you know, hyper kind of guy. And especially with, like, you know, with the combination of all the junk food and environment and people I was around for most of my 20 years of living initially, you know, I was all over the place a lot. And then the most recent two years, I've been able to calm down, you know, and really work on focusing this energy even better, you know. And part of this learning passive and active behaviors and behaviors patterns, life, living, whatever you want to call it, organization, you know, because with this, I have three dogs right now that I'm boarding with Rover, you know, and I'm aware it's a small step, you know, it's still a business, and I'm still grateful to be compensated just for supervising and chilling with animals and, you know, caring for them because I desire to you know be creating wealth from home excuse me and I'm working on myself to really be able to connect with others so that they trust me and you know the wisdom I have to share the things that I've gathered along this journey and yeah so I like it because I'm able to just breathe and be here because for so long in our life like we're, kind, we're just first thing we wake up out of bed and like it's like we're on a chase a hunt you know like just to go chase a check, chase some money, chase some whatever. And like, after a while, after I've had like 12, 13 jobs, 14 jobs, maybe I've had a lot from food service, from retail, from valet, you know, at a hospital, you know, labor, you know, package handling, and a gym, and just, a lot more probably, but bottom line is like the mindset is a whole lot different because when we're there, the pattern we get into to get a job in general is just, oh, we need, you know, okay, one day when, you're young, when we're real young, you know, we're in high school or whatever age you start desiring to want to make your own money, have a job or whatever, you know, like you're like, oh, wow, okay, this time, my family they didn't give me no money for my birthday or for Christmas or oh, okay, well they did. All right, let me change that. Let me change up the scenario. All right, so when we're at that age where we consider to be employed and make our own abundance, you know, legitimately, we start to be like, oh, okay, well, I already used the money from. I already have spent the money that my parents, my family have given me for, you know, the holidays, for my birthday, for the special occasions, and, you know, they're not going to keep just handing it up over and over and over again for everything I want, begging over and over again instantly without, you know, no type of service or work I've put in. So guess what? A lot of us, what do we do? We start to get a job so we can you know, be responsible for our own stuff, more so, you know, like to get our own food without having to ask, you know, for money to buy the food or begging for food, you know, from on the streets or whatever, you know, or anybody. Uh, hmm. So we get a job and The jobs 
It's a different function. It's a lot of different experiences I'm grateful for to have been through all that, you know, to realize what I don't want. And, you know, like, we're in that cycle. So, like, some of them were serving and we're making money daily, cash tips, you know, from serving food. Some of them were making it weekly. Some of them were making it every two weeks. And bottom line is, like, you know, whatever our si- residential situation, especially, you know, wherever we move out of our parents or family's house and we're on our own, then it's time, you know, to live on our own and be responsible for that. And then, like, the whole job mindset changes because it's like we're barely getting by, you know, and still some of us are still establishing ourselves, you know, but like, and especially when I moved out, like, the jobs is just, like, barely getting us secure. So it's like we're slaving away at a job, you know, to get paid maybe either the same day, a week later, or two, week, two weeks later, depending on what it is, you know. So if it's two weeks later, then guess what? It might be a good amount, but guess what? The majority of it is going towards rent, you know or whatever bills you have. Mm -hmm. Two more weeks happen, and guess what? Another amount comes, and that can be the conclusion of the rent and bills, electricity, you know, maybe a phone bill, maybe a car note, whatever, maybe a little bit of um, miscellaneous spending or saving, you know, but bottom line is it's like that just breaks us down, you know? It breaks us down because it's like we're spending all those hours in there and we're having to wait and we're barely getting anything back. And then after a while, after so many, it starts to, we start to learn a pattern. We're like, okay, I'm done with this. You know what I mean? Like, I just desire to have to, you know, be able to do what I want. And that's what this whole transition process has been, like from finally leaving the last job to being able to make money independently, you know, on the go. And it's still obviously evolving and continuing because I'm not here to be out on the streets. You know what I'm saying? Like I've already been through that and I'm desiring to continue to grow to just be the source, the mothership, whatever, and have the business booming even more so like it is now but just you know like have merchandise to be able just to chat with clients on you know a chat or a video chat you know skype instagram messenger video chat whatever video conference service you know whatever to do that to do that and the list goes on. There's a lot of ways, okay? I know. I'm just saying, like, this evolutionary process has helped me to really finally be able to just slow down and calm down, you know, because it's such a blessing. Like, I'm so blessed. I'm so grateful to be able to still be in the, the, my own or in this residence that I'm, you know, exchanging compensation for a space to live, you know? one bedroom, whatever you want to call it, and, you know, I'm grateful to be there and still, you know, making money just supervising and taking care of animals. And there's a lot of other ways I make money too, but I'm saying like this is cool because it's the most simple, relaxed form. And this is why I like it the most because, like, I can see, you know, the vision of having family, you know, wife, children, you know, in a big backyard, a big facility within the home to really be able to board and store a lot of animals of all types, cats, dogs, birds, you know, even a farm, you know, it's like a farm, honestly, or something like that, and to do that, and like, I don't know how all of it will go, but I see that, you know, and I'm saying with this, I'm grateful with this, and there's a lot of opportunities I can open up with this, too, but I, I am chill, chilling, you know, because 
I'm not out running out chasing a check. You know, I'm not waking up and just in a rush, not even enough time to brush my teeth or whatever, just to go, you know, clock in for a certain amount of hours, you know, stuck in my head, oh, well, guess what? I, I'm only here until there, until this time. I, I'm only nine to five. If I leave at four, uh-uh-uh. Or if I come in at 10, uh-uh-uh. Or if I keep changing my schedule, or if I just say, hey, boss, I just wanna come in whenever. Nah, you gotta fire your boss and become the boss like I have. People been calling me boss for years, all my life, to be honest. But I especially even feel even greater since I really did fire my bosses and became my own boss. You know, and it's cooler, to be honest, because this is relaxing, you know what I'm saying? I'm not constantly shaking and moving and this and that. You know, I've worked in some food jobs, a lot of different places, jobs, and like, we're just doing way too much for no reason. You know what I mean? moving around, you come home and you're drained, tired, sweating, especially food places, guess what? Your clothes smell like the food, you know? You're sweaty, you have dirt and marks. Oh, I love dirt and marks all over your food, all over your clothes, from the food and from whatever environment you're in. And You know, you probably maybe didn't even have time to eat a lunch or whatever. And if you did, you only had that little time. And guess what? You got to worry about using the restroom, you know, all that stuff. And you're just on the clock, on the board, doing the same function, you know, the same interaction, same experiences. You know, maybe different people here and there. But, like, you know, you're still deep down, like, wow, I want to be free and do whatever and be on my own terms. And that's why I encourage, which I'm doing, I'm growing, I'm developing, establishing myself, but also I'm encouraging other people to do that, too. You know, some of these rideshare apps, entrepreneurs, there's a whole lot of ways to get it. You know, it's just, I encourage it a lot because being trapped and stuff, that sucks. And, you know, I'm not perfect. Of course, I have a lot of work to do. I'm just saying... I'm grateful to have come up to this far to be able to breathe because in actuality, deep down, what I truly desire is just to be married, you know, within myself and translating that over with the woman of my dreams, you know, where we both really are just so in love and deeply infatuated with each other without a doubt. Like, we just are in awe and we just click like that. I dream of having that and both of us being happy and excited and ready and in agreement to having children, you know, whenever that's supposed to happen, however that's supposed to happen, however the universe chooses to ordain this or whatever spot in time, in line I am in this divine order, cosmic order, but yeah. You know, I, in actuality, I'm just desiring to continue healing myself and honestly be able to be able to relax, you know, out in the sun, out at the beach, out in the mountains, laying here with herbs, you know, with vegan food, with herbs, you know, massages, you know, like stuff like that, like sauna, steam rooms, like that stuff. Especially just the herbs. That's my favorite. The herbs, the herbs, the herbs. I love the herbs. <laughs> Real. Sage, you know, CBD, all that stuff. Cannabis, marijuana, all of that. That's my dream. That and the vegan, holistic health, different approach. You know what I'm saying? Not like society, not like the masses, not like the mainstream provokes it. You know, I'm talking about my own way, the Bolingo way, the old school way. So that's what I like, and that can continue unfolding for us so long as I surrender to it. Because that's really what I desire, because I have a lot of healing to do within myself, and the world really does a lot too. But I have a lot of healing to do within myself, and 
rest is so important because a lot of us think that we're just supposed to, you know, just kill ourselves, literally and, you know, not literally, like sarcastically, like in a way of just stressing ourselves out of, you know, pointless tasks. Like, it's hard to believe that there's actually some people in the office right now, like, you know, <laughs> that's another story, but I've been, I've seen a lot of stuff, and some of it, I'm like, what? this is so boring, how do you do this for a living, how do you live, well, you're not even living, how do you exist doing this, <laughs> you know, and it's for real, because uh, I like, Dope, chill, natural vibes, honestly. Peaceful, loving, harmonious, reciprocal, you know, truthful, honest vibes. So. Anyway. We fall asleep over here. Probably a nap is approaching us. A power nap. So it's your boy, Sky, broadcasting live.